Hi guys, you're here with Meals with Amina. Yolo, let's eat. Today we're going to make shrimp scampi. And shrimp scampi is one of the recipes that is near and dear to my heart. It is the first recipe I ever learned how to make and I learned it from my dad. So today, we're gonna to make shrimp scampi and homemade Alfredo sauce over some spaghetti. It's gonna be so good. Yalla, let's eat shrimp scampi. So we have two pounds of shrimp that I bought from the store, it was frozen. Um, I got it peeled and deveined, which I highly recommend because who is gonna sit there and peel the shrimp and devein it? Not a good look. So just buy it ready, you're gonna get an extra dollar and pay for it, who cares? That's It's worth it. And what I did also is they left the tail on after I defrosted, I just took the tail off because nobody has time to be sitting there with their fork and knife. I like ready to eat meals, so I took it off and I like to season my shrimp before I cook it. What did we season our shrimp with, you might ask? This, my favorite thing in the whole entire universe, organic no salt seasoning. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some crushed red pepper flakes. I like it spicy. If you don't like it spicy, you do not have to add this. Um, Italian seasoning and some paprika. Don't go crazy with this. I know you want to because it looks pretty, but don't because it really will overpower the whole entire dish. You just want it to accent the shrimp. So what you're gonna need for this dish is one whole onion chopped really small. Um, I love spicy, so I took half of a jalapeno and with the seeds in and I chopped it really finely. And I'm gonna use three tomatoes in my dish. I feel that it gives it a nice base and a nice sauce. So I chopped one, I'm gonna chop the other one and then I'll chop the other one while the shrimp is cooking. I have two um, lemons that I'm gonna squeeze. I have a bunch of garlic, which I'm really gonna need for both uh, components of this dish, the cream and the shrimp. So I just literally took a uh, food processor and I chopped a bunch of garlic. And it doesn't matter because if you have garlic left over, you can just freeze it for later and then you don't have to do the work. Um, I have some chopped parsley, I have parmesan, I have butter, yes, and if you don't like butter, don't make this dish. Some salt to taste, and a little bit of flour. I might need the flour for the sauce, so that's something that I have prepared in case I need to make a roux. And of course, heavy cream. Um, if you don't love heavy cream, you're not a human, so I'm just gonna let that slide if you don't use it. So I had two tablespoons of olive oil in this nice deep pan for about a couple of minutes getting nice and hot. I'm gonna add my onion and my jalapeno to the dish. You wanna hear that sound, you know that your oil is hot enough. Um, and then we're gonna stir. So once we finish stirring, the next thing we're gonna add is our garlic. So I'm just gonna salt just a little bit because I like to salt every layer of the component so that you know you don't have to add salt at the end. I'm gonna take a couple tablespoons of garlic, chopped, the garlic amount that you want, depends on how much garlic you like in your dish. I added about a tablespoon and a half. Um, I think that's enough. And then I'm going to add our shrimp, but I need this to get nice and clear before I add my shrimp. So we had our onions and our garlic going for about a couple minutes. Next thing we're gonna do is put in our gambetti, aka shrimp, into the dish. And we're gonna go on like medium, low, you can let it go as long as you want. Shrimp cooks super fast. And you kinda want it to like set in, be friends with the onions and the garlic, uh, you know, be acquaintances, ask hi, how you doing? You hear that? That's a good sound. That means our pan was hot enough for this. We're gonna give it like a nice stir. And then, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit in this um, pan and make a sauce. While our shrimp is going, you know, get it nice and good. We're gonna make our Alfredo sauce. Super, super easy. Super fattening, but super easy, okay? So, you know what, take it. 
take what you can get. So we're gonna add half a stick of butter to this pan. Yeah, half a stick of butter, you know, four tablespoons, you know. If you don't wanna scare your friends, just say four tablespoons. We're gonna get it going on medium. I do not wanna burn this sauce because burnt sauce does not taste good. Um, what we're gonna add here is we're gonna add uh, some garlic, the rest of the garlic that I have, I'm gonna add in. And then I'm going to add uh, flour. We're going to make something called a roux. When you make this roux, you need to mix really well and then you're going to get some bubbly, nice, brown, pasty thing. That's the go-to to make a thick, nice sauce. And I'll show you if your th sauce is thick enough. So we have our butter melted over here. We're going to add our garlic and get it nice and toasted with its butter. Okay. And then once I get that going for a little bit, I'm going to add my flour, but for now I just wanted to focus on the shrimp a little bit. There's something that you need to know about shrimp. People overcook shrimp very fast, and it's because they let it sit on high heat or they just keep it on the fire for a really long time. We don't want to do that, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep mixing as we're making our sauce, um, and we're going to notice it's going to turn pink, which is fantastic, but if it turns into a coiled sea like this, it means it's overcooked. We want it to be like a nice, open, Okay, so make sure you're looking at your shrimp when you're cooking it. So now that we have our garlic in there, nice getting a little cooked out, we're gonna add Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in there. I like the way it tastes in the Alfredo sauce. And you wanna do it at the base because you want it to, um, this is a dried herb, right? So you want it to open up and give out the flavor. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna add a big tablespoon of flour. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix. Do I like what I see here? No, I think I can add a little bit more. So I'm gonna add another spoon of flour. There we go, let me see. Do I like what I see here? I'm almost there. I'm gonna add one more, half a big spoon of flour and this is the consistency that I want it's like kind of chalky but it's not pasty so what I want you to do is let it cook for a little bit we're gonna pour in our cream and we're gonna let it sit for a little make sure that your fire is on medium we're gonna mix it in like this and what you're gonna notice is what you're gonna notice is that you're gonna get a sauce that starts bubbling a little bit and it's gonna thicken up. When it thickens up, you're going to add more liquid, so on and so forth. So we're seeing that it's bubbling up already. Okay. I'm listening, I'm listening. I'm figuring it out. Oops, this is too thick, so what are we gonna do? Add some more liquid. Guys, if you're on a diet or a health kick, you can cut this with milk. You don't always have to use heavy cream, but since this is on my blog, we're going all the way. If you look here, you see that our shrimp has started to get that nice sea, and it also is starting to come through in color, which I really do enjoy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna add my tomatoes. What my tomatoes are gonna do, are they're really when they're cooking, they're gonna release their juices, and it's going to taste amazing. So I'm gonna add my, my tomatoes here, and we're gonna mix. So we add a little bit more salt because we just added our tomatoes. I'm gonna add a little bit more organic salt seasoning because I'm obsessed with it. We can add a smidge of this and that's it really. And then I'm going to mix. All right, we gotta go back to the sauce. So back to the sauce, guys. I just stuck it like this. Look, it's still pretty thick. But when you see that it's not coming back on the, the back of the spoon, you know that it's thick sauce and it's really good. But right now, I'm gonna add a little bit more heavy cream because I love it. Don't judge me, you know, only God can. I'm done, I finished it, wow. So, we're gonna mix it in. Yes, this is 
the consistency that I want in my sauce. I'm not gonna add salt until the very, very end. You ask why, I mean, why are you gonna do that? Why are you doing that? It's because I'm adding Parmesan cheese and Parmesan, Parmesan cheese already has a salt content. So I don't wanna over salt. Then you're gonna ruin this sauce. Do you see what I'm saying here? This is what I want. Very good. Back to the shrimp. We look at the shrimp and we say, ooh, look at that. You got a really good sauce going. I add my butter and my herbs. I wanna give it a taste. Do I need more salt? Do I need less salt? Do I need pepper? What do I need? I think it's perfect. I might, might, might add some pepper. What's wrong with that? Nothing, YOLO, live life. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add my butter because my butter is actually gonna thicken this sauce up. So here you go. Don't ask me how much that is. Actually, you can. I think you have to. Literally, you know what? I don't know why I'm so scared. You know what? It's half a half a stick of butter. Yeah, I said it. Guys, this dish, honestly, I made this for someone once. They wanted to put a ring on it. So if you want to listen to what I'm doing right now, uh, you have to go and follow all the rules, okay? So what we did here, look, we changed it up in color. We're going to get a nice consistency on our sauce which is great and we're gonna break all that richness with our lemon so I'm gonna take a lemon what you gonna do you're gonna squeeze it are you ready cuz I don't want any of the of the seeds in there so I'm just gonna squeeze and I'm not the craziest fan of lemon so what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do one lem lemon. I'm gonna squeeze it, then I'm gonna taste. And then from there, I'll decide do I need to add more or not. So it's really about measuring what you want in your dish. People like lemon more than me. They'll add maybe two of them. I am not that person. So, I'm gonna taste again. I think I might add one other half to this dish. Take it, squeeze, get it all over me, that's normal. Mix again. Keep on tasting. Whoever says you can't taste your dish, shouldn't eat it. I think it's perfect. I might add a little bit more salt. Alrighty. And I'm finally gonna stop it with what? This is about a quarter cup of parsley. I might not go all the way because I want it for my Alfredo dish as well. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit for my Alfredo dish. So we have flat leaf parsley in there, we have a little bit of rosemary, fresh, and we have a little bit of basil, fresh as well. And we mix. And ladies and gentlemen, is this shrimp scampi or what? Yes, ma'am, yes it is. I'm done with my sauce, it's the thickness that I want. So what I'm going to do now is add my cheese. Oh yes, I'm not joking around when I say, if you're on a diet, don't eat this. Um, this is about five ounces. Let's uh, cut it for a second and mix like this and see how we feel, how do we feel? Mmm, wow, I tasted it. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And I'm going to add pepper. So take this, go like that. A little bit of pepper over here. Fresh ground pepper. They always make a big deal out of it. Guys, if you have already ground pepper, it's fine. It's America. We're all working. This is this, it's a rough life. So you know what? Take the easy step and get pre-ground pepper. You're okay. Okay. I'm gonna taste it again. I love it. I'm going to add my parsley. Okay. And I'm going to mix it through. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close that. And I'm ready to go. I'm going to plate next. So we have our 
pasta. I like spaghetti. I think it like captures all the sauce and everything like that. So we're just gonna slowly stick it in here. Make a nice little home for our shrimps. Okay. And then we're going to take some shrimpies. Maybe like four of them. Add them to our dish. Sorry if you don't like this, don't eat it. Okay, let's add one more. Alright, let a little bit of the sauce trickle down. And then a little bit more sauce. We're going to add our white sauce. Okay, I'm gonna add one more shrimp on top. Make this aesthetically pleasing to everyone. And some fresh basil from my garden. And boom, yalla, let's eat shrimp scampi. How easy was that? Under 30 minutes, unless you're gonna talk the whole time. It's about an hour and 20.